this world I am a stranger just don't fit in don't do all the things that they do but in heaven I am favored by the one who set me free he says peculiar is what I should be not with to begin uh, singing some songs for you here. Now you have to uh, forgive us because as we come up to sing, we are go coming from hither and yon and uh, very little practice time was had. And uh, so we're working on this. And as they would say down south, y'all pray for us. You know, <laughs> we ain't practiced a lick. But uh, we're going to try, try one. Here's one that uh, was written by my sister Julia Montoro, the song, I Am Not Ashamed. There's a cloud of many witnesses with Christ in heaven above. Watching as we run this race, they cheer us on in love. There are faces we have seen before and more we've never known. They fought the battles, took their stand. We reap what they have sown. So I'm not ashamed to claim the name of Jesus. Not ashamed to tell the world he's mine. Gladly I'll proclaim this gospel to our people. I am not ashamed, I will claim his name. Now I take my stand in Jesus and serve the Lord today. I give my strength and purpose, I sing and work and pray, and though all the world may mock me, or walk uncaring by, I'll stay with Christ my Savior, His name I'll not deny. So I'm not ashamed to claim the name of Jesus, I am not 
ashamed to tell the world he's mine. Gladly I'll proclaim this gospel to our people. I am not ashamed, I will claim his name. So I'm not ashamed to claim the name of Jesus. I am not ashamed to tell the world he's mine. Gladly I'll proclaim this gospel to our people. I am not ashamed, I will claim his name. I am not ashamed. I am not ashamed. I will claim his name. Here we're going to uh, introduce everyone to you, but first we'll try to get as many of them down here as we can before we start going. So we're going to have my dad come down here. I'd like to ask him if he would introduce this next song. This is a down-home song. <laughs> it's entitled, I'm Using My Bible for a Road Map. And um, <clears throat> it's a wonderful map. Never leads you astray. You ever have a GPS take you into a dead end street somewhere? <laughs> Far off from your destination? I've had that happen. Okay.
All right, now I ask the ladies to come down here. This is, I believe, the uh, uh, one, two, three, four. We got four? Good. All right, this is the beauty. They called themselves the Beauty Shop Quartet. And uh, <laughs> they did that after my brother and I were out of the house. <laughs> I don't think the name would have stuck, but. All right, ladies, you ready? And uh, while they're coming, let me say that we, uh, we have, do have some CDs out there. Um, <laughs> you know, we've got to survive somehow. It seems weird to say that, but uh, that's the way it goes. All right, we're going to start here. I'd like to ask everybody in order, if you can remember your order, to introduce yourself and uh, tell a little, just a little bit about your, um, your, your family, your husband, and, uh, and your wife. And, uh, and the children's, children's that you have. All right. Um, my name is Julia. I'm the oldest, and um, I married Pete Montoro, and we moved to New York City and established a church. We just uh, celebrate 20 years, and, and we have 12 children, six boys and six girls. <laughs> Anybody else can top that? I told Julia I'm less than half a woman because I only have three. <laughs> My name is Jennifer, and I married Dan Martin almost 20 years ago, and we have three daughters, Ashley, 17, Melissa, 15, and Heather, 
Rose is 11. We've been in the panhandle of Texas for 11 years at the same church, Liberty Baptist, for nine years. And y'all come out and see us sometime. I am Sharon Monsoor. My husband got to come with me. He's over here, Ted. We live in Durango, Colorado, and my husband is a in the precious metal, so if anybody needs gold or anything like that, see him after church. <laughs> we have um, five children, three boys and two girls, and I don't know, I told them about the service tonight, they may be watching, because they're out there in Durango with some other people. We have our youngest here, and um, it's, it's great to be here. Thanks for having us. My name is Joanna, I'm number six, right before the first boy. And that was kind of interesting, but <clears throat> I guess if she's half a woman, I ain't no woman. <laughs> I don't have any kids. <laughs> no, but I have some children the Lord has given me to work with in, um, in Cleveland. I'm over at Cleveland Baptist Church in Cleveland, Ohio, and just two hours away. And I hope you pray for me as I go home tonight. Um, <laughs> I'll stay awake. But um, my burden is to work with um, children in the Philippines and just praying about that. And um, I'm teaching music, elementary music, 39 students, private lessons, and um, doing some bus attendance and whatever else they can find for me to do. That's what I'm doing there at the church. <laughs> but definitely getting busy and um, just so thankful to be here tonight and to um, celebrate my parents' 50th anniversary. It's a blessing to me. And then I'm number seven. I'm the oldest boy. And you know uh, our, fa our family. My wife is up here. There's Jess. And our kids are here as well. We were glad that uh, we were able to have our kids, but... Um, Y'all wouldn't have been able to contain the seating for all the kids here tonight if all of our kids were here. So I'm glad at least we have ours, but uh, that's who I am. Yes, next. My name is Jessica, and I'm number eight in the family. And I was between the two boys, and what a time that was. <laughs> if it was the tomboy there, he taught me how to play football, and I don't know what else. But um, I am currently at Pensacola Christian College. And in my second year, I'm studying commercial writing, and it's been a, a real challenge, but it's been a blessing. And um, I'm thankful to be here tonight and to be able to celebrate these years with my parents and to see their example over the years. And um, thank you all for having us here. We, I've always enjoyed coming to Hope Baptist. I'm the Marshall boy with hair. <laughs> <clears throat> teach him to give me the mic. <clears throat> oh, in our family, we're just considered numbers. I'm number nine. And uh, of course, my wife, Julie, is back here. Three boys. God's been good. And we're glad. Appreciate you uh, hosting this for our parents. It's, a, it's such a blessing. Hope means a lot to me, obviously, my wife. And uh, Hope Baptist means a lot to my spiritual growth. Uh, and so it's, a, it's a, such a fitting place to have this celebration. Appreciate it very much. My name is Monica, and I'm the baby or the cherry on top. In my opinion, it doesn't get any better. No, I'm just kidding. I am currently um, thoroughly immersed at Pensacola Christian College in a music education degree, my third year there. So I am quite glad to come here and uh, get out of the practice room so I can come and do some more practice. It's been a blessing, and I'm glad to be here. And just thank you all for letting us come. And we're missing a couple of our sisters here. Uh, number, uh, sister number two, Becky, she is over in uh, Africa with her husband, Bob. And you remember them a couple, three years ago at missions conference, they were here. And then the fourth sister, Deborah, she's not able to be here. She married Brad Wells. And uh, you remember them? They have uh, seven children. They're in Papua New Guinea. They, some of them may be watching tonight. We will find out about it later. But uh, we're going to try to sing one here that uh, we enjoy doing. Uh, let's say it's called Hallelujah, We Shall Rise.
sing. I have no This is the dream I always had when I was growing up was to have the mic all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you, Hope Baptist, for making that a reality. Amen? <laughs> I know most of you wish it was off. I hate the sound. <laughs> Amen. All right, here's a song that goes way back. Hey. That's the way it goes. You try and you try. <laughs> Here's a song that goes way, uh, way back to the, I think, the mid-'80s. I have no regrets. And uh, this is one that um, it means a lot more. It, mean, meant, it meant a lot then, but it means even more down the, down the road. And uh, my sister Julie was just saying that earlier. It means a whole lot more now that you see she just had her first, or found out she's going to be a grandmother. It's hard to believe, isn't it? But uh, her, uh, her oldest son got married. Uh, this past year, and they're expecting. And uh, when you say, I have no regrets, it means a lot more as you go along, as Pastor was saying this morning, the faithfulness, uh, staying faithful to the Lord and watching God be faithful to you. It's a, a great blessing. No regrets. I have no regrets that I said yes to Jesus. And when he called, I answered him that day. I've no regrets that I became a Christian and turned from sin to walk the
Jesus. I've known some pain and wept some bitter tears. I've known regrets or when and how He's led me to trust His word. trials of life and labor he'll repay all the trials of life and labor he'll repay repay. all right mom and dad are going to come down here and uh, sing a song that they've been singing here more recently And uh, this goes right along with a a song, if I'm not mistaken, has the same type of story as the one we've been singing as a congregation every Sunday night the last several months, the song Here is Love. And this one has a similar story, and uh, I'm looking forward to hearing. This is how it all started, back before any of us came along, was mom and dad singing and playing, and uh, it continues tonight. Pastor, pastor, sir, dad, (laughs) do you want this guitar? I would like to have that with a pick. I will give it to you. And I'll find it for you. We got a pick. done much of this. And <laughs> we were down at uh, my brother's house and next to uh, where we live there in West Virginia, and uh, uh, some of the grandchildren were there, several of them, and um, they were climbing all over the place and swinging on the chandeliers and very active. And my brother turned to me and said, you started all this. <laughs> He's quite a comedian. I'd like to just, uh, before we do this, I'd like to uh, say to my wife that I I love you very much. Thank you for sticking by this old mountain here. Okay. Over there in um, West Virginia, a man got so upset with his wife that he took a gun and put it up to his head and said, uh, I'm just going to blow my brains out. And she said, oh, honey, no, please don't do that. And he said, shut up, woman, you'll be next. (laughs) (laughs) I want to thank uh, Pastor Sal, Mrs. Sal, and the church for allowing us to do this this weekend. And, you know, uh, anniversaries are far as the family is concerned, it's mostly a family thing, so we appreciate everyone that came and all the help. Thank uh, Jonathan and Jessica and and all the crew for working and getting things ready. Appreciate it so much. Um, I want to say something about this song. We were here maybe a couple years ago, uh, got in on the end of a conference, and the Spirit of God was moving. Remember that? When you say, well, there's been a lot of time, but the pastor said that he just sat there and let the Holy Spirit work. And uh, sometimes we as Baptists, you know, we neglect the third person of the Trinity. And I know we're not supposed to go around and sing songs praising His name, is, you know. But we, you know, we praise Son, Father, and Holy Ghost in the doxology, right? You never do that here, but I mean, they did it for years, and churches still do it. And it's the Spirit of God that we need to work on us. To, to do the work, 
we're totally weak, we can't do anything. And I don't want to get the powder wet, but and my wife was like, oh, called So Sweet is the Spirit. going to have one more song tonight before the, uh, before the preaching, and I asked my sisters to sing this specifically, and they, they uh, did not want to sing it because they had been uh, so long since they practiced together, and uh, you all, many of you remember the family as being together, and of course, uh, we were together for a long time, but we had different groups develop and different songs were sung at different times, and so when we get back together, we have to uh, do quite a bit of work to see how we're going to make this work, but uh, I'm glad to... Uh, Thankful again to let, uh, allowing our family to be here, and uh, there's probably no other church that would make more sense for us to, uh, to do something like this, and so it's a real blessing. I'm going to ask them to sing this last song, and then turn it over to Pastor Sal. But never has there been a name 
Precious, precious name of Jesus. Jesus is the sweetest name I know, and he's just the same as his lovely name, and that's the Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Joy, 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 joy,
Now here's a song, one more song, and uh, hopefully Pastor will come out right about now. <laughs> He's not coming. No stirring of the waters. All right, here's one we used to do when our voices were a lot higher. Sweet home of mine, I shall be happy, shouting, happy, dwelling upon that glory side. I'm gonna shine, shine, shine like a rainbow. Shine, I'm gonna shine, shine like a rainbow. Shine, I'm gonna shine, shine for the King divine. I'm gonna put on the golden slippers and that white robe of mine. I'm gonna shine, shine. Shine like, like a rainbow, rainbow shine. Heaven will be a little brighter if it may see you in that throng. Taking your place as saints go marching through that city divine. Where the redeemed shall lift their voices singing that hallelujah song. I'm gonna shine, shine, shine like a rainbow shine. I'm gonna shine, shine, shine like a rainbow shine. I'm gonna shine. For the King divine, I'm gonna put on the golden slippers and that white robe of mine. I'm gonna shine, 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 shine like a rainbow shine. I'm gonna shine, shine, shine like a rainbow shine. I'm gonna shine, shine, shine for the King divine. I'm gonna put on the golden slippers and that white robe of mine. I'm gonna shine, shine. shine Shine like a rainbow shine. All right. Well, we're going to sing one more here. Ask Jess to come on down, and we're going to sing a trio. Would you do that for us? Remember the key. When my labor here is over at last and I lay these burdens down, I'll sail away home to heaven above for my Savior I have found. I'll lay these burdens down at his feet and exchange them for a crown. I'll leave this world of trouble and sorrow when the sun of my life goes down. Oh Lord, oh Lord I, know, I know I'm living on higher ground. I know. I know heart true love I found and when, and when I, hear, I hear give a trumpet loudly sound I'll leave this world of trouble and sorrow when the sun of my life goes down to this changing world I'll bid farewell when I hear that trumpet sound I'll sail away home to heaven above for my savior I have found my plans are made I'm ready to go I'll wear a robe and crown 
There to meet my friends and loved ones up yonder when the sun of my life goes down. Oh, Lord, oh Lord I, know, I know I'm living on higher ground. I know, I know because, because in my heart true love I found. And when, and when I, hear, I hear Gabriel's trumpet loudly sound, I'll leave this world of trouble and sorrow when the sun of my life goes down. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I know, I know I'm living on higher ground. I know, I know because, because in my heart true love I found. And when, and when I hear Gabriel's trumpet loudly sound, I'll leave this world of trouble and sorrow when the sun of my life goes down. I'll leave this world of trouble and sorrow when the sun of my life, the sun of my life goes down.